so hello friends today we are going to learn how to crochet these booty shorts athletics booty shorts i think you can see how they look like so what we need we need our winter time threads i'm going to use white and yellow i also need your hook i'm going to use the 3.5 millimeter hook you also need a tape measure and you also need your pair of scissors so let's, let's get started we are going to make a slip knot same thing in a slip knot then make a chain make a chain of 66 66 chains one two three four five make them a little bit loosely So now I'm done with my chains and if I measure you should make sure that you have 16 inches without stretching out the these 16 inches because I'm because I'm making for a person who's having hips with 40 inches so make sure that you note down the 60 inch so what I mean to say note down the, the number of chains that you've made they might be beyond 66 chains but make sure that you get the tape measure it if it's equaling to 16 inches if you're making for someone with size with the hip measurements which is 40 inches hope you can see so now let's get this started we are going to make half double crochet you're going to skip these first two stitches then in the third one you make a half double crochet and even the next one yarn over in fact three yarn over you have three loops on your hook go through all the three loops so make this half double crochet till the end of so now i'm done with my row so the next step you're going to chain two one two turn your work and again put one half double crochet in each half double crochet in each stitch so we are going to do this for 10 rows one half double crochet in each stitch so i'm, I'm on my second row let me get when you're done with so now i'm done with my 10 rows these are they look like these are my 10 rows so if you're done with the 10 rows you're going to put a stitch marker in the mid part this was my mid part i put here a stitch marker i used it the other color but you can use a stitch marker in case that you have so you're going to chain two chain to turn your work you're going to make one half double crochet till you get to this stitch marker then i'll find you here so now i put where my stitch marker is this is my midpoint i think you can see this white thread this one so in this midpoint the portion of my stitch marker you're going to put three half double crochets in one stitch so this is the first one one two three then again you place the stitch marker in the middle one because you've made three so, so in the second one again you place the stitch marker and this is what i use as my stitch marker i don't know what you're using i know i'm using the thread so then again you're going to continue making one half double crochet up to the end so we are going to repeat this for other 10 rows for 10 rows of increasing here not getting here let me get you after the 10 rows okay so now i'm done with the 10 rows i think you can see i'm done with the 10 rows this is how my work looks like so now we're going to the next part next part you're going to make reductions so chain two turn your work one half double crochet in the first stitch 
then in this next stitches we are going to make two half double crochets in complete so you're going to yarn over insert through the hook yarn over insert three loops again yarn over insert through the next loop yarn over you have one two three four five then insert three of the five loops then again you continue one half double crochet in each stitch one half double crochet in each stitch so you're going to continue and if you get here you're going to make the three double crochet here then i'm going to meet you so now left with three stitches don't forget to put the three double crochets here where you put the stitch marker so now these are my i'm winning the four stitches so i'm going to make a half double crochet so then i make two half double crochets in complete this then i have five loops in the first row of the five loops so then I, again i make the last half double crochet so we are going to do this for four rounds so we're going to make four rounds of this for four rows so th this was our first row so now we're going to the second row again with the second row you chain two turn your work one half double crochet in the first stitch then two half double crochets in complete like you yarn over insert through the again yarn over you have three yarn over insert through the next stitch you have five and then you continue with the one half double crochet in each stitch and then when you get here again you make the three double crochets i mean the three half double crochets here then again you continue then you make the you complete and the half double crochet so th they should be, you should make a total of four rows so now i'm done with my four rows if you can see how my work looks like here it's a little bit of slanting so this is my front part so you should also make the other part i'm all done with making my other part the front and the back part so now we are going to the joining part so chain two again you chain two then again i'm going to make one half double crochet two half double crochets in complete like the decreasing stitch two half double crochets in complete one half double crochet in each stitch each stitch till i get here then if i now i'm almost the mid part this is where my stitch marker was so i'm going to make my stitch marker again i put a half double crochet then after i chain 10 one two three these are three four five six seven eight nine ten then after chaining ten you bring the other part this is my other part these are my ten chains then here where the stitch marker is is where i'm going to insert the hook and i make the slip stitch so now i've joined so now i'm going to work again going this side again with the half double crochets so then i turn i think you can see so now i turn i'm going to work around then i make a half double crochet then you chain two chain two here because this chain two also counts as a half double crochet then you continue with half double crochets in each stitch on each DC in each stitch till the end of the row and again if you get here to the end of the row you have to make the incomplete here then the one half double crochet work i'll get you when you're almost the end of the row and i'll show you what to do so now these are my last three
stitches and then I'll make the gauntlet in the second in the two stitches then again I make this one after I put it in the last stitch so I'm working so these are my last three stitches I will make the two last double crochet in complete then again I make the last double crochet so as you can see I am first dealing with one side this is one side of the leg then I'll do the other side so now we are going to turn around you chain two turn your work turn your work again make the one half double crochet then you make the incomplete the incomplete then one half double crochet in each stitch I'll make this in each stitch till you get here 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 I'll find you when we are going to this chain tens. So now I've got here where my chain where I place the ten chains. So I'm going to make one half double crochet in each chain. In each stitch you put one half double crochet like this. Maybe like so. Maybe one in each stitch. A bit confusing but don't skip any stitch so now I'm done with the half double crochets in the 10 chains that are left so I'm going to continue with the other side because we are working like this we're working on one leg like this coming around so I'm coming to this side So I'm going to make a half double crochet in this very stitch. Then again I'll continue half double crochet in each stitch. One each different stitch. I think you can see. Till the end of the row. So when, I'm, when I get here I'm going to decrease. The way I showed you how to decrease. Then after you chain one and cut off your yarn, then you go to this other side of the this other side, and you also make two rows of the half double crochets because also you have made two rows. So this is my second row. I'm going after here. I'm going to chain one and I cut off the yarn. Then I make. So now I'm going to join the white color in the sides. So attach your yarn. Attach the white yarn. So then chain one, turn your work. So this time round we are going to use single crochets. So with this time round, I'm going for every two half double crochets lines, I'm going to put two single crochets. So let me start with the first one. the first single crochet so I'm going to make another one so as I said for every two single two half double crochets make sure that you've made three single crochets so now these are three and we'll continue like that one two and three so you're going to continue like that so when you get here down you're going to put one one single crochet in each stitch then you come around come around your other leg and when you get to this side the lengthwise side again you place three single crochets in every in every two lines of half double crochet so as you can see how my work looks like so now we are going to the next step. The next step you're going to chain one, 
turn your work we are going to make 28 single crochets so we start with the first one which is one two three three four five till you get 28 single crochet so now i'm done with the 28 single crochet i think you understand what that looks like so what you make this side should be the same as what you have this side so i've counted 28 stitches and i've placed a stitch marker because i'm working going around this side so if i get to here i get that these are these are my 28 stitches so after making your 28 single crochets you're going to make half double crochets in the rest of the stitches you're going to make half double crochets in each stitch till you get to this stitch mark you make half double crochets if you can see till you get to this stitch marker this one so now i've got to my next stitch marker where my 28 stitches are 28 26 here so now i already joined the other side i think you can see how i joined it so if you want you can make again the 28 single crochet the crochets then again then you use a needle and you join them together but as for me i prefer joining my work like this so i'm going to put a single crochet here i'm not going to finish the single crochet then i remove the hook and i pass it through the other side then i think you still can see what i'm doing I've, i'm joining or making the single crochet then again in the next one i make the single crochet i don't put the other one the next one i make the single crochet i pass through then i skip one stitch here and i go to the other stitch and i pull these loops through the hook then i finish with my then i finish with my single crochet then the another one I just make a single crochet for the next one you make the single crochet like this then you leave the loops hanging skip one stitch then in the other stitch you cut your hook then you pull these loops and you finish with the single crochet but if this one is difficult for you you can make the single crochet then you join then you join with the needle that's also easier so now i'm done with joining my sides this is how they look like this on this side so now we are going to the waist part we're going to make the waist part for the waist part i'm going to use the yellow yarn i'm using the yellow yarn So I'm going to insert my hook on the side, let me put it here, then attach yarn, so you're going to chain 3, 1, 2, 3. Now we are going to make one double crochet in each stitch. How to make a double crochet you yarn over, insert through the stitch, yarn over, you have three loops, first pass through the first two, then again the other two. So we are going to work all around with double crochets. So let me get you when you're done with the double crochets. So now I'm almost done with my row double crochets so 
Uh, this is my last one. Alright, so let me pass it here. So I'm going to make a slip stitch on top of this chain three. Make a slip stitch. Make a slip stitch. Then again we chain three. One, two, three. We are going to start with this one. We are going to make a back post double crochet. How to make a back post? You're going to yarn over, insert through your work, and push this stitch behind. That's what we call a back post double crochet. And in the next one, you're going to make a front post yarn over. You push your work yeah, in front. Then you make a double crochet. Let me repeat a back post. I think you can see I'm pushing my work behind. That's the back post, double crochet. Then the front post, pushing my work in front. Let me repeat one last time. This is the back post. I push my work behind. Sorry, push my work behind. Like this. Then the front post, I push my work in front. I hope you've got me because we are going to repeat this pattern for three rows back post and front post. I want to repeat this pattern for three rows. I think you can see it looks like. Okay, let me get you done with the three rows. So now I'm done. I'm done with my shoots. I think you can see how they look like. See how they look like. So now. I'm going to put the strap for the waist. I've made some stripe. Okay, I've just chained. So let me see how long I've made. I've made like 60 inches, so you can also make any width that you want. So I'm going to put a stripe. So this is our middle part. Start from here. This is the front part. This is the mid part. So I'm going to go here back and I pull this thread through our loop. I pull this through. So you see, I'm going to be counting three. I'm going to skip one, two. Then I count this one, two, three, one, two, three, and I bring these loops that we made, and pass it through. So I think you can see. Again, you count one, two, one, two, then one, two, three, then this three. Just like that till you just like that till you finish up. I think I'll get you when you're done. And you see how our booty shorts look like. So I'm done with the booty shorts. I think you can see how they look like. This and these are the stripes that can make your best. So please don't forget to subscribe and 